1. Lok Sabha passes bill to replace meat ordinance. GS Paper 2. Issues related to education. What is the context about? The Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill 2016 and the Dentist Amendment Bill 2016 Bill to replace the NEAT Ordinance has been passed in Lok Sabha. It is a matter of immense relief for students and education administrators that the Supreme Court decided not to stay the center's ordinance granting a one-year exemption to state government institutions from the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test NET, for medical courses. The court found the ordinance disturbing and lacking in taste, and hinted that its legality was open to doubt. What is NEAT? In order to ensure that there is a common platform for all aspirants of graduate and undergraduate medical and dental courses across the country, a common examination for admission to all government, private, state, deemed universities, colleges of the country would be conducted under AIPMT. This examination would be conducted for 85% of the seats whereas the remaining 15% would be reserved for management quota. Medical Council of India, MCI, in 2013, notified single entrance examination for admission to MBBS and postgraduate medical courses. Through this cause of NEET, aspirants could apply for admission to any college of their choosing across the country. This was, however, not applicable to the states of Andhra Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. Why NEET is good? Bottom line of NEET is one nation, one exam, one exam for admissions into all the postgraduate medical courses in the country, except AIMS, PGIMA, JIPMA. In NEET there is no difference in syllabi for any of the state graduates as all MBBS graduates have a unified course curriculum. A student can write a single exam and apply to different universities with same test score, where merit list will be prepared by the universities with all the students applied. Selling of seats in open market for crores of rupees can be prevented as all the seats will only be filled through NEAT. Why are various state governments opposing NEAT? State governments see NEAT as an infringement on the rights of states. They also feel that it will be disadvantageous to students from state board schools and those from rural areas where the standards may not be as high as CBSE. So states argue that NEET may end up hurting their students and benefiting the CBSE students who may not be from their states or may be urban elite. The way forward in its present form with the CBSE, NCERT syllabus as its backbone the NEET exam is clearly an unfair one for students from state boards and from rural areas where the standards may be lower. The major grouse of various states opposing NEET is that a common syllabus must be worked out before implementing NEET and this is a valid argument. Further the exam must be held in multiple languages and this has been acceded to by the government. A common national test for professional courses is faultless, in principle. In this connection, it will address the problem of private institutions selling medical courses at astronomical prices to candidates who may lack aptitude. Yet. It is important that the ground is properly prepared before the implementation of a common test. State governments have to be convinced that their socio-economic priorities will not be affected by centralized regulation of admissions, and that regional disparities in syllabi and linguistic differences will be adequately resolved. 
there is also a larger legal issue since there are Supreme Court judgments that have underlined the unfettered right of unaided minority institutions to regulate their own admissions processes, subject to their being fair, transparent and non-exploitative. These contradictions need to be ironed out.